The partisans were a military group of rebels led by Saw Guerrero, who were known for being particularly cruel and brutal, making them unpopular with many other rebels. They first appeared in Catalyst, a Rogue One novel, but their most known appearance is from the Rogue One film, which released a month after the book. Since then, they've been explored further in later Star Wars projects, including Andor. Hello and welcome to Vault Holocron, I'm Jonathan, and today we will be discussing the Partisans. The Partisans were formed by Saw Gerrera not long after the Galactic Republic was reformed into the Galactic Empire. The group started as a reorganisation of the Onderon rebels, although now the fighting was against the Empire. To provide some context, the Onderon rebels were formed in the Clone Wars after the Separatists replaced the leader of Onderon and occupied the planet. They fought off battle droids in and around the capital city of Isis, and eventually called on the Jedi's help to end the occupation. The Jedi agreed to unofficially help train the Onderon rebels, and the group successfully freed the planet. A year after this peace though, the Empire was formed, which then took control over Onderon. Not long after the formation of the Partisans, the Bad Batch was sent to kill them, with the false information that they were a Separatist remnant. This plan failed though when the Bad Batch learned the truth and deserted from the Empire. However, Crosshair later returned to the location they'd previously found the Partisans with the Elite Squad, a group of Special Forces troopers who killed everyone remaining in the area, including militia members and civilians. This early attack didn't stop the Partisans though, who continued to fight against the Empire. At some point after this, other groups of Partisans were formed as well, such as Arrain's Partisans and Blue's Partisans. But Saw's Partisans are most noteworthy. A few years later, in 14 BBY, Saw's Partisans fought on Kashyyyk, freeing Wookiees and attacking the Imperial forces and facilities on the planet. While here, they met Cal Kestis and the crew of the Stinger Mantis, who they fought alongside and helped in finding Tarful. However, the Imperial forces on Kashyyyk became too much for the Partisans, and they had to leave. But before they did, Saw Guerrera offered that Cal Kestis join the Partisans, but this was declined with Cal Kestis being on his own mission of rebuilding the Jedi Order. About a year later, Saw Guerrera was contacted by the Ursos, who had been discovered by the Empire, and were asking for help. After this, Saw rescued Jin Erso, and brought her into the Partisans, where he trained her to fight, tried hard to protect her, and even brought her on some missions. One mission she went on was to Inusagi, where she was tasked with giving forged documents to disguised rebels. While she was doing this, Saws and Arrain's partisans attacked the Sakula Blossom Festival with flechette launchers. This attack was brutal, killing not just Imperials, but also the Inusagi chiefdesses, the guests, and the civilians. In fact, it was so brutal that some of Saw Guerrera's partisans left the group to join less extreme rebel groups. About a year later, Saw Guerrera abandoned Jin on Tamzai Prime due to her identity as Galen Erso's daughter being discovered. This meant that she wasn't safe, as Galen, her father, was working for the Empire, and so she may be used as a ransom. If you want to hear more about Jin's time as a partisan, I covered this in more detail in my Rogue One crew video, which you can watch after this if you wish. Anyway, back to the partisans. In 3 BBY, Saw's partisans placed a bomb in Governor of Naboo, Moff Gorsh Panaka's chalet, which blew up and killed Panaka. However, the bomb had almost killed Princess Leia and Queen Daune of Naboo. Bail Organa was furious when he found out, as not only had this attack almost killed his daughter, but also successfully killed Panaka, who although being an Imperial, was not corrupt or cruel. Aside from the murder of Panaka, Saw Guerrera and his partisans were also disliked by Mon Mothma, despite them being part of the Rebel Alliance. 
with Mothma hating how extreme their methods were. In 2 BBY, Saw Guerrera led a team to investigate the disappearance of the Geonosian species, but while there he lost members of the team, and lost contact with the Rebel Alliance, until the Spectres came in to help him. In 1 BBY, Saw Guerrera attempted to recruit the Spectres into the Partisans, but they didn't accept this offer. After this, Saw Guerrera and the Partisan Edrio rescued the Spectres at Jalindi Station, picking up Sabine, Ezra and Chopper. From here they flew off together to Phaos Station, where Saw had heard the Empire was moving materials through. While on the ship, the group found some prisoners and a large kyber crystal. Sabine and Ezra wished to do everything they could to save the prisoners, but Saw betrayed them, stunning them and making sure the ship got to its destination. This was in the hopes of finding out just what the Empire was building. However, the station didn't lead him to the secret weapon he was looking for. He then set Ezra and Sabine free, and they and Saw escaped the station separately. After this, the Partisans continued investigating the Empire's secret superweapon, later going on a mission to the Imperial Metal Factory of Doom IV, which provided parts for the construction of the Death Star. As time went on, the Partisans became more and more brutal, and eventually at some point before the Battle of Yavin, the Rebel Alliance cut all official ties with the group. After this, Saw Guerrera and the Partisans set up base on Jeddah, where they fought the Empire and recruited new members. At one point, they even recruited Baze Malbus and Chirut on Wei, but after a conflict between some Partisans and the duo, Chirut and Baze left. I also spoke about this story in my Rogue One crew video. At some point after this, Saw Guerrera and many of the Partisans were killed when the Death Star shot upon Jeddah City, damaging the Partisans greatly. The loss of Saw Guerrera didn't stop the Partisans though, with many survivors forming Partisan cells. One group formed after Saw's death was the Dreamers, but they were killed not long after the Battle of Yavin by Inferno Squadron, an Imperial Special Forces Commando Unit. Another group of Partisans, led by Benthic, set up base on the half-destroyed planet of Jeddah, continuing to fight the Empire. While here, they were approached by Luke, Leia and Han, who requested help from the Partisans in stopping the Empire from mining Kyber crystals on the planet, and offered that the Partisans rejoin the Rebel Alliance. The Partisans then decided to work with the Rebels, fighting the Empire. Together they attacked a mining citadel, destroyed the Leviathan, which was a huge continent-class crawler, and took out the Imperial forces on the planet. The Partisans then became part of the Rebel Alliance, and said goodbye to Luke, Leia, Han and Chewie, with Benthic promising to guard Jeddah until it's gone. Not too long after this, Benthic and his Partisans were approached by Leia, who asked them to join her on a mission to Shu Toran to destroy the Spike, a huge structure which converted gravity fields into energy. By destroying the Spike, the Rebels would not only get revenge on Queen Trios, who betrayed the Rebel Alliance, but also deal a damaging blow to the Empire financially. As part of the plan, the Partisans infiltrated the Spike, along with Luke, Chewbacca and R2-D2, to plant explosives. But while they were there, they came up with a more harmful plan. The rebels had wished for their attack to cause only a few casualties, but Benthic and the Partisans wanted Shu to run, destroyed like Jeddah was. Benthic and the Partisans then turned on their rebel allies, tying Luke up and ordering R2 to overload the system inside the spike. Luckily, Leia arrived just in time to stop them, telling the Partisans that if they destroyed Shu to run, they'd be as bad as the Empire. Benthic then agreed to return to Leia's plan. After this, the Rebels decided to drop the Partisans off wherever they wished to go, and the Partisans chose Salobia. And this is the last we know of the Partisans so far. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this dive into the Partisans, and we hope to see you later. 
at Voltologron.